A big thank you party held today for first responders and workers involved in the I-95 collapse and reconstruction. CBS News Philadelphia reporter Marcella Bayeto is live in South Philly with how the Phillies, along with officials, honored their hard work today. Marcella. Aziza, we're here at Xfinity Live where this lower level right behind us was completely full of hundreds of construction workers, their families, police officers, and of firefighters as well as they all finally got the chance to celebrate the reopening of I-95. Now, it's been a busy two weeks for everyone involved with the rebuild. The partial collapse of an overpass on the interstate at Kaufman Avenue happened two weeks ago today and Governor Josh Shapiro along with Mayor Jim Kenney took the time to thank the men and women who have been part of the project, including workers with the highway contractor Buckley and Company. Now, the food provided at this event today was all catered by Northeast Philly businesses, Curran's Irish Inn and Sweet Lucy's. Both of them were heavily impacted by the collapse. And earlier today, we saw the Phillies honoring workers and first responders as well. We spoke with local 57 shop steward Marloy Gonzalez, who says he's thankful for all the recognition. Just being here, just feels so exciting and just getting honor and just letting us get recognized as laborers and as a, a person that you know I appreciate for all the people of Philadelphia just having our backs. Now during the end of the event we also saw the Buckley and Company president get up on stage and remind his workers you know what have all the fun you want tonight but come tomorrow morning you better be ready to get back to work as they continue their work on rebuilding a more permanent fix for I-95. Live in South Philly, I'm Marcella Valladolid, CBS News, Philadelphia, Ziza. Oh, what a great way to thank those people who've been working around the clock to get that done. Here's a look at the PennDOT live stream on I-95 in Taconi. That, thanks to those construction workers, traffic continues to move on the temporary bridge. We'll continue to keep you updated on the progress with the permanent lanes and bring you the stories behind the rebuild on CBSPhiladelphia.com.